chance of rocking YouTube by gaining over 250,000 followers in just 9 months. They narrate historical events and use artificial intelligence to get thousands of views. They are highly entertaining and have captivated over thousands of people, including myself. In this video, I will be showing you how you can make these and they are very good monetized. The AI Historian channel has generated over 3 billion views in just the last month and is earning between 700 to 11k dollars each month. In the case of Astral Sages, it has achieved over 2 billion views in just the last 30 days and is gaining between 600 to 9k dollars. So in this video, I will be showing you how you can make these videos for completely free. You won't need to invest a single dollar. So let's get a little preview of what you will be able to achieve. Undeterred by social norms, Curie earned her second Nobel Prize in 1911, this time in chemistry, for the discovery of polonium and radium, two elements more radioactive than uranium. Her contributions extended beyond the laboratory. During World War I, Marie applied her radiology expert. Spectacular, isn't it? So let's take it step by step. The first thing we need to do is get a video idea, and for that we will be using ChatGPT. And we're going to type Give me 30 ideas for videos about important events in history. Here it shows us the list of suggestions. Hmm, this one sounds interesting. It has to be something catchy that keeps the user entertained. So let's try. Give me the name of the 30 most important people in history. And it gradually gives us different options. All very interesting. All the suggestions were very interesting. But for the first video, I decided on Marie Curie, one of the most important women in history. All right, with an idea in mind, we just need to get now the script. And for that, we will be using as well JetGPT. And we're going to simply go and write proactively summarize Marie Curie's life in two paragraphs. What I'm going to do now is modify it slightly. I will add an initial hook and remove or add some sentences to make it a more dynamic video. I'll copy and paste it into a Google Doc and make it the changes. With the script finished, we need to bring it alive. We need to get the images for the video. For this, we're going to be using another AI. We will use Leonardo.ai. You may have heard of Midjourney, which is well known for creating images with artificial intelligence, but a couple months ago they removed the free trial options and now it's just only usable with a subscription. But don't worry, we'll be using Leonardo.ai, which is also super powerful and it's completely for free. Now these tools work through prompts, which is the code we will use to tell Leonardo how exactly we want the image to look like. And these we can easily get from ChatGPT. And we simply need to write the following. Give me prompts to generate images for each of the sentence in the following story that I am going to give you. Keep in mind that the prompts are structured like this. Characters, description, period, clothing, place, action, background, type of shot, style. In this case, the style will always be hyper-realistic, photorealism and cinematographic. Give me prompts as a whole sentence, separating it with comma and without a statement. Perfect, we have our text and we paste the script below and press enter to see what it shows us. As you can see, it has given us a prompt for each sentence in the text, saving us a lot of time. And now we're heading to Leonardo to create the images. All right, as you can see, I had already created the sample images, but let's do it again so you can see the whole process. This page operates on tokens. When you create your registrations, you will receive 150 tokens and each day you will get 150 more. But these are not accumulative, so make the most of each one you get every day. In this section, we're gonna select how many images we want the AI to create. And in this one, the image size. We have to choose 916 since it's the mobile format. If you click here, you can change the photo style, but I like this one and the format adapts very well as you can see. We select the prompt and paste it. The AI will generate free photos, as I have chosen to generate free options. If we agree with what we have done, we simply download the result. That easy. Here you need to use your creativity and generate images based on your video idea and your script. I will analyze how I want my video to look and structure it. For example, I didn't like the images they created based on the ChatGPT prompt here, as it doesn't clearly represent the later years of Marie Curie. This is why I created a new and much simpler text, which I will paste here. As you can see, it's already much better. I'll play around with the prompts to get all the final results and images. I consider this step one. I already have all the images created, which I'll show you in the editing. But first, we need to get as well the voice. I will introduce you to Clipchamp, which is an online editor, but it also offers AI voice generation through text. Once you created an account and logged in, select create new video and its interface will appear. It's very intuitive. By clicking on record and create, it will provide us with the various options. We'll select the last one. This window will open and on the top right side, we'll have what we were looking for. I love this page because we can select the language. You can even choose the accent. You can choose your preferred male or female voice. 
And most interestingly, you can give them different emotions. If you expand the advanced setting, you have the option to achieve a particular tone. So I'll paste our text, select the language and choose the desired accent. Let's listen to the preview. Marie Curie was a true pioneer in the world. Sounds great, doesn't it? Now that we have everything, let's bring it all together and shape the video. For this, we're going to be using CapCut. But before we dive into CapCut, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my account so that you don't miss out any of the great videos that I'm preparing. As you can see, here are all the images that we generated earlier. I already added them into CapCut. I had to generate a few X runs since not everything was suitable for my video. Now I'm going to add all these pictures into CapCut and just organize them as I desire. Here you can zoom in so you have a bigger frame of it. Let's just organize them. Next step is we're gonna add in the video that we downloaded earlier with our voice. But we don't want a video, we want just the voice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right click and go extract audio. As you can see now, here we have an audio line of our speak, of our text. And we can just go on now and delete this previous video. And now we already have our photos and the text behind. Do you see this? These are little pauses in the text. They are not suitable because they make the video go slow. So what I'm going to do next is I will be simply removing them. On a computer this is simple because you can already exactly see where these spaces are always. Go to one of these spaces and click this one which is going to be split. Move forward, split again and just cut out the excess and you can drag it in to the desired space you want. Once you have all your audio ready and it's perfectly cut to size and it just goes and sounds very good. As well, you need to adapt the size of the images and the duration. So this way, it just suits perfectly to what is said in that moment, to what you see visually. You might have noticed that these kinds of videos always use a lot of effects, which make the video more engaging and entertaining. It brings life to the video. So we're going to add those now. And these are very easy. You go to effects up here and you will see it takes a little while to load, but once it loads, you see all these effects. A few of those are pro options, but there are so many that you can use completely for free. And then just go play around, add them in and look how they look. Nah, I don't like this one. So let's change it up a little bit. What will suit? Maybe this. I think this glow will give it a good effect. You see, that looks nice. As you can see now, I have added a few effects here and there throughout the whole video. Not everywhere because we don't want it to get boring or just too much. What we're going to be adding now are the transitions, which are also a big, big impact on the video. Same as with the effects, you have so many options. So just drag them down, play around and see how it looks. Okay, that looked so cool. So just play around with those, see what fits, what suits. Don't put them everywhere so it's not over the top. Okay, we have added now all of our effects and all of our transitions. But still, something is missing, because at the end, you see, the picture is just plain and direct straight. Because as you can see in AI Historian and the Stellar Saga, they have like depth, like movement into the image itself. And this is very simple to add. And it's as simple. You go select the one image that you want to change. You go and select one part of that image, and you go here to position and size, and you click here. And it's going to create this little dot here. Then you're going to move forward to the next part where you want the movement to go. Select the same thing again, okay? And now it's gonna come the fun. You're gonna zoom in a little bit on the image. And what you are gonna see now is that from this position, it's gonna be the normal one. And in the next one, it's gonna be zoomed in. And during the whole time between, it's gonna be slowly zooming in. You see, that looks nice. But you also have a different option. You can as well go click on the image, go to animation, and then you have all these animation options that are gonna put directly on the picture. Let's try this one out that is kind of like a bounce. You see, it creates the bounce on the picture and then we have the transition. This makes such a nice movement. Next, we're gonna be adding the audio. This one I took from a free library of videos that are copyright free. Because as you know, on YouTube, you can only upload videos that are copyright free because else you're going to be banned. Your videos will not be showing. But remember, even if your audio is copyright free, you need to go and give credits to the creator of that in the description of your video. So it looks very good, but one little key detail is missing. And this is going to make the big change and a super good impact. And this is the text. We need to have the text visually on the screen. This is going to engage the user and make them retain easier and better the information that we are providing them. We simply go up here to text and auto caption. Okay. I'm going to select English in this case and go with create. It takes a little bit. Now CapCut automatically added in our subtitles, but as you can see, they are very, very small and just all squished in together on the screen. We have all these options for nice, fancy text. 
or we can as well go up here to basic and then we have the basic style where we can choose our different fonts. But I recommend you use the same font as I do because that's as well the one that all those big accounts are using. I'll leave it linked in the description and you can download it and add it into CapCut so you can use it as well. But we still have all our tests squished in together but what we want is to be shown as one word by word. And we're gonna go up here where we can add animation. This is gonna create that one word pops out each moment. The good thing is that CapCut automatically chooses our speech and adapts it actually to that. So we're gonna select this one. As you can see now, one word is showing up on the screen as it goes. But be careful, you always need to check on your subtitles because sometimes this happens, that the words just don't fit perfectly. So you need to adapt them. Now that we have everything complete, it's time to watch the video. Marie Curie was a true pioneer in the world of science who made innovative contributions to the field of radioactivity. She became the first woman to win a Nobel Prize in 1903, alongside her husband Pierre Curie and Henri Becquerel, for their groundbreaking work on radioactivity. Undeterred by social norms, Curie earned her second Nobel Prize in 1911, this time in chemistry, for the discovery of polonium and radium, two elements more radioactive than uranium. Her contributions extended beyond the laboratory. During World War I, Marie applied her radiology expertise to develop mobile X-ray units for the battlefield, saving countless lives. Despite her groundbreaking achievements, Marie paid a high personal price. Constant exposure to radiation during her experiments led to health complications, and she tragically passed passed away in 1934. Marie Curie's legacy is not only about scientific discoveries, it's a story of resilience, breaking barriers, and leaving an indelible mark on the scientific world. Now I will say that looks epic and what a success of a video. The truth is I love this video and I had so much fun creating it and playing around with the different tools and options I have in CapCut. So this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Make sure to give this a nice thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss out any of the upcoming videos I have prepared. Trust me, you will love them. Bye bye. <laughs>